This video started out as a rant on the current state of the Halo franchise, which I will cover here, but since I don't want my speaking videos to only cover things I dislike, I'll start out with how I found my favorite genre of game, the FPS game, once comprised only of Doom and Doom clones. For me, it was GoldenEye 007 on the Nintendo 64. I played Doom 64 on that same console, but GoldenEye had already grabbed the hold of me and given me that se that sense of discovery, that rush, realizing for the first time, oh, games could be this cool. Like, be the single player, the multiplayer, you know, playing with friends on console, the golden gun, the paintball guns, the maps, all of it. So many hours spent. I loved it. I imagine this is how others must have felt when they first played Doom. Like, you have to keep in mind, like, that this was the 90s. So prior to GoldenEye 007, my only experience with FPS games was playing a Star Wars Doom clone on my cousin's PC. Hell, my experience of games at that point, outside of an arcade, was Sega Mortal Kombat. Sonic, Madden Football, which never appealed to me. Nintendo's Mario, Donkey Kong, which was fun, but eh. Duck Hunt with that neat gun. Duck Hunt, of course, being a favorite. Bad bit is, like, GoldenEye isn't on Steam. It's only available via Game Pass, which, you know, fuck Xbox. Like, yeah, I'm aware pirating exists, but there's no reason it shouldn't be more easily accessible. And plus, I want the vanity points of getting all my little Steam achievements. So that's missing. And yeah, I played the GoldenEye Source version, but despite the fact that it's made in Source, and, you know, I really love Source games, it just doesn't feel the same. And the game not feeling the same is an issue I have with the Master Chief collection, but I don't want to get ahead of, mo ahead of myself. Uh, you know, it really is a failure of modern day game companies that they don't release their backlogs of content. This is an issue I see also with uh, movie studios. They don't realize how much content they own and how much uh, engagement they could be getting by simply releasing their backlogs. You know, you just watch old movies or play old video games in this instance. Like, for me, it's not that it's difficult to find new games, it's just that it's difficult to find games that appeal to me, because I only really play first-person and shooter-type games. But again, like, this is a common sentiment I've read on image boards and forums alike. And, uh, you know, speaking of boards, you know, like I sometimes browse 4chan v, uh, the v on the web ring, what is it, a log space on Kong? It's very slow since 8chan is dead now, and 8chan.moe is fucking unusable. The identity fags and web ring fags completely just killed everything. So 4chan V is the only place you can really go for anything. Anyway, like I see threads for films and games and stuff that I would never have any interest in or even know about because I don't really use social media, so... Although, like, that's not what this is about, but, like, my rant and my taking notes, all of this began when I saw a thread for, like, with an ironic, you know, hey guys, you hype for Halo Season 2? That, that shitty Amazon Prime logo on it. And, like, all that could, like, all that came to my mind is just, like, rage. Just fucking rage. I would have killed for a season back when uh, a movie or a season of Halo back when it was at its height. I mean, like, the... Like, I remember seeing the poster, and it had a terrible, terrible costume. There are cosplays out there that are way better. Like, fans care about this shit more than any of the people in these studios. Like, there's no passion. It's just all agenda nonsense. I can't stand it. So I refuse to watch it or even hate watch it. Like, it's really disheartening because Halo is the series that got me back into PC gaming. It's the only reason I wanted to own an Xbox. Like, prior to Xbox, I was more of a Dreamcast, PS1, and even PS2. Like, this was like pre-Xbox uh, pre 360, by the way. Like, sixth generation console era. So, like, I played at Halo 2 on Xbox Live since it was relatively new. Until my Xbox subscription ran out, because Xbox is, like, retarded like that, where you have to get a subscription. So, I would, just went back to playing Halo 1 on PC, on occasion firing up Half-Life or CS. Keep in mind, like, every game that was released around this time, like, to this day, is still considered a classic. You know, so there was just, like, one epic game after another coming out. So it was just a glut of FPS games. Games that I still play to this day. Well, besides Halo, because the Master Chief Collection is shit. But uh, you have to remember that Halo 1 for PC was released in 2003, and then you have 
in 2004, Halo 2 being released, and then meanwhile, almost simultaneously, you have CS Source being released. Like, all the while, my excitement for fucking Halo 3 is growing, and in the meantime, like, I remember uh, breaking my fucking poor PC trying to run Halo 2 and uh, CS Source on it. Like, just trying to, just waiting for Halo 3, trying to get some more Halo content on my PC. Like, another thing about that is, like, since the PC doesn't have little, uh, the little, what I would consider features, like, the little glitches, like the BXR or the BXB, like, those little glitches were, like, a feature. And that's another reason why the Master Chief Collection just falls short of the original game. And about, like, the Halo series as a whole. Uh, like, if only the Peter Jackson film could have been developed. Like, it was in development at 2006. So since Halo 3 was going to be released in 2007, if the film could have come out around there, like, Bungie's Halo series would have gone out at its apex. Instead of dying the death of a thousand paper cuts, like, the paper cuts in this instance being, like, each little mediocre game entry by 343, and now with this fucking lackluster season and a second season on its way, like, who's this show even for? Who, who's the target demographic? I mean... I enjoyed Halo 4 for a short period of time. Halo 5 was a complete clusterfuck. That's when I checked out of the franchise. It, it no longer felt the same. I, like, I understand when a game needs to adapt or wants to adapt new features or slight graphic uh, updates. But back, like, but, like, when the game becomes too drastic, like, when it's changed in too drastic of a manner, it's, it's just not the same thing. Like, so I'm not going to torture myself, uh, like, trying to play it. Like, I'm not even going to try and play Halo Infinite. I don't know if that makes me a hypocrite, but, like, I feel like I've gotten a similar experience playing the Master Chief Collection. Maybe I need to... I only really tried out the Halo 2 version. Maybe I need to try out try it out a little bit more, but I don't know. I think I'm done with the Halo series. Like, these days I'm content playing Counter-Strike, since I love every iteration of that. Like, it's great. Every version has its own... has little different things to offer, and communities that are fucking overwhelming. Uh, like, once back in Overwatch, uh, whatever it's called, back, Overwatch, anti-cheat. Once they get all of that fixed out, once they add new maps, or the entire map pack that they promised, it should be 80% better. But, you know, again, typical Valve not releasing a full game. Like, I'm really curious now that Source 2 is released, uh, how the mods will develop and if there will be any, like, CS, uh, Source 2 offshoots. Like, I'd like for a Day of Defeat Source 2, but I don't think that's gonna happen because that game is so little, so little followers. There's so few people online, even on the Source iteration and the regular iteration. I know because I'm one of them. But, uh, now I'm just rambling, but anyway, I have a channel where I'm going to live stream from. I will link that below, uh, because I don't want to shit up this channel and I might get a little too spicy live streaming and I don't want the channel to get nuked and I'll lose all my precious playlists and all that stuff, so, yeah.